At Rutgers University, students and faculty are faced with a rapid transition from class to class in their daily life. The bus system at Rutgers has been the source to aid these individuals. Stand behind the white line while the bus is in motion. There's a bus system, what's kind of cool about it, it is the largest university bus system in the country. Good luck finding a seat. There's always an empty seat on the bus, if you're lucky. First Transit began operating in July 2011 with new and refurbished buses after the university ended its 10-year contract with Academy Bus Company. Some of the changes that we made in the Rutgers Transit system this year is that we have a brand new provider and that new provider has brought in brand new buses, which means that we have all low floor buses. Previous to this year, we still had some buses that you had to walk up three steps or walk down three steps. And that's always bad for a system because it takes longer to load and unload, and it, there are sometimes. This three step bus oddly matches the description Mr. Molinar gave for the buses that were difficult to load and unload. It don't seem much different, honestly, just besides the fact that they talk to you. The bus service prides itself on providing the public with safe and efficient transportation. Complaints of poor frequency and crowding continue to grow as the semester goes on. Due to the fact that some routes run more frequently than others makes them less crowded and causes students to believe those routes have more buses than others. Take for example the LX route, which runs between the College Avenue and Livingston campuses. Between the hours of 12 noon and 8 p.m., the LX arrives at each stop every three to four minutes. If Rutgers did this for all the routes, would it solve the problem of this? I think that there should just be more buses. There should be at least either the double buses that are have like that are longer, or we should do two buses at a time so that people aren't cramming on um, to buses. Now approaching College Hall. Take for example these routes that run between the Cook Douglas and College Avenue campuses. They come every 5 to 6 or every 9 minutes. But if they came every 3 to 4 minutes like the LX bus, maybe we wouldn't have overcrowding like this. Uh, please, I know it's tight back there, but try to slide as far as you can go back there so everybody can fit in the bus. It's a transportation. Well, I don't have anything I like about it. What I dislike is that they're always late. They never, well, yeah, they're always late. It's always really crowded. Douglas and Bush and Douglas and Livingston also have the same problems as the F and E E buses. This is the 
problem of overcrowding due to poor frequency. To further study the effects of infrequency, I conducted a survey about the Rutgers bus system and what students thought about it. The total number of participants in this survey were 20 students. The first question I asked was, do you think there are enough buses? Of the 20 students, all of them voted no, there are not enough buses. One student commented further that she thinks that there are 300 LXs and 3 Fs. In addition, another student stated that the buses are so god awful and packed, can't handle it. The second question I asked also had 20 student participants. The question was, were you ever left at a bus stop because the bus was overcrowded? 100% of the students answered yes, they had been left at a bus stop due to an overcrowded bus. One participant commented that this happens to her every day. I believe that it's overcrowded and that uh, it's almost you're too close for comfort with other people. And for those who are more susceptible to sickness, such as me, you get um, people breathing on you and their germs, and when people are sick, you also have a higher chance of getting sick. The bus service prides itself on providing the public with safe and efficient transportation. Yeah, it, it is crowded, it is crowded, but they have started this bigger bus, but I don't know how useful that is because the frequency is still the same.